As many folks deal with the isolation of living through the current global pandemic, members of the local music community have joined together, while still being apart, to create a musical message of love from Saskatchewan to the world. It's the brainchild of artist Lynn Bessie McGuinness, who wrote the lyrics, and Terry Hockness, who composed the music and video. Both join me now. Welcome. Hi, Eric. Thank you. I'll start with you, Lynn. How did this idea begin? Well, it just, Terry and I decided, we've done some collaborating in the past, and Terry and I decided we would take a, a Bernie Tofen and Elton John kind of approach to songwriting. So as you know, Bernie doesn't write any music and Elton doesn't write any lyrics. So just being in, in um, you know, being in isolation and living through this pandemic, that was on my mind. So I wrote what I hoped were inspirational lyrics about, you know, getting through it and coming out on the other side. So, and I did it in an afternoon, which is highly unusual for me. And then I sent it to Terry overnight. And I mean, literally, he created the music and made a demo. So when I woke up in the morning, there it was. What was your state of thinking as you crafted the lyrics? I have a very large family, which I can't see any of right now. And I was thinking about, you know, we have to stay connected. We have to stay connected. And, and I had heard somebody make a comment about, you know, we're all afraid that people are taking steps to get through it, like all our essential services. And so courage is fear walking. I thought it was so powerful. I still get goosebumps when I say that out loud. And action is, is love talking. It's take action, connect, do what you need to do. And so that's kind of the frame of mind. And just who I am, I'm an optimist, was we'll, we're going to get through this. And it's, it's not pretty. It's heartbreaking. But we're going to get through this and come out on the other side. And we're going to get to hold each other again. You guys then took to inviting some of your musical friends to take part. Uh, you had 18 artists, including yourselves, from across the province lend a hand. Tell me how that part came together in terms of getting such a diverse group on board with their time and talent. You know, we, we know a lot of people, and uh, so we wanted to definitely cover the whole province. We've got different uh, styles of singers, uh, different genres of music, so we grabbed a pretty good, well-rounded group of uh, people that we personally know. And uh, it, it makes it kind of fun just having all that variety in the performance. On a technical level, of course, everyone is recording their parts from home. How did you coordinate uh, that to put all of the little pieces together? It was a lot of work because <laughs> I had all different formats and not all of them worked. And some of them were the wrong sizes, wrong audio quality so just did as much audio editing as I could to try to make you know everybody sound good um, but you can tell on the video that certain certain recordings really sound like they're singing from their phones more than others um, and then the video editing is just going through the clips we spent a lot of time just syncing up parts that was our biggest task because there was uh, I had about 93 files but once I split it all into the section so i had about 400 parts really i had to sync up now that the video has been released online you guys have an ambitious goal for getting a certain number of views on youtube tell me about that yes well here's our thinking there are 1 million 174 thousand people in saskatchewan and our song is a message of love from saskatchewan to the rest of the world so our thinking is we want 1,174,000 views on Facebook. That's a lot of love from Saskatchewan to the rest of the world. So that's our lofty goal. And Terry and I have full intentions of tackling that sucker. I understand you're also using this as an opportunity to promote uh, donations to local food banks. Is that correct? Yeah, our, our thinking on that was, you know, we really... We, we don't have, we're not going to make any money. No one's going to make any money from this. But I took on Facebook, I took the opportunity when, when we released it to say, uh, if you can, please donate to Food Bakes 
of Saskatchewan, and I provided the link. So our hope is if you can, please donate. Um, we just wanted to shine a light. How can folks stay in touch with and support local musicians at this time? A, a lot of acts are now doing uh, live performances on Facebook, for example. There's actually, now I've seen literally probably a hundred people are doing that. Um, Sask Music has gathered some ones where they're doing higher uh, promotion and and there's a number of people creating sort of like set list concerts where there's a whole bunch of acts in a row while performing a song each, which is sort of a standard thing. I mean, people are doing that around the world now. But that's kind of the cool thing about this social media is that we can all take advantage of this now. And, and people are more and more realizing that this is a, a, a unique new way to reach audiences. And I'd imagine a visit to Sask Music's website would be a, a great place to start for discovering some of the amazing local talent that we have in this province. Yeah, that's a great place. And also on Facebook, there's lots of Saskatchewan related music group pages that the people have been uh, posting on a lot. So musicians and also singers um, just posting everywhere. So you just have to do some searching, you'll find them. We've also, uh, Sass Music has been gracious enough to, uh, to put the, the story behind this song and all the lyrics and bios for all the participants on their website. So it's sassmusic.org uh, news, the latest. Well, thank you, Lynn and Terry, for your time today and for putting this creative and positive project together. Well, thank you for finding us, Eric. We're thrilled. <laughs> Any final thoughts? Sass Music worded it very well. I saw this morning what they've written is that 18 Saskatchewan artists came together and created an anthem, a musical message of love. So please help us share that love around the world. When the voice is saying again, we'll be free.